I do freestyle rap. That's rap that you make up. It's improvised. It's not prepared. We will take five random suggestions from the room. Then we'll drop a beat, do a freestyle rap. If you are sat here, this section, number one, suggestion number one from this lovely area, what would you like a rap about? Cock. <laughs> so confident. Cock. Just one. Not, not cocks, Chris. Cock. The way you said it, like, I imagine if I asked you to spell it, you'd spell it C-O-C-C. -C -C. Like, like thick, but cock. That's exactly thick cock. It's very pleasing, the plosive sound, isn't it? Cock. Great, cock. That's the f No adjective, no describing word. Not meaty, not slender, not surreptitious. Oh, that's not a good word. Surreptitious cock. You don't want that. Um, middle front of the room, this side. I would like a suggestion from you. What would you like to rap about? Jump roping. Jump roping. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you, are you a keen jump ropist? Yes. He is. A, a gentleman. I, I'm so sorry for gendering and assuming that you wouldn't jump rope. In the, in the boxing things, they, they, they jump, don't they, like that? And they, they go, I'm going really fast. <laughs> you jump rope. So just like, do you have like a record or something? Can you do it with the one leg? Yeah. Every day. Every, every day. day. Jump rope every day. Are you in fine physical condition? Yeah. No. That's because you fucking jump rope. That's why. <laughs> jump roping. Thank you. Yeah. And cock. <laughs> Will you permit red to give one? Are you allowed to give one? Okay. I should point out, this is not planned. This is not the thing you usually do. You usually make beautiful music. Um, okay, yes. What, is, what second grade school teachers do for fun? What second grade school teachers do for fun? You, you, you have a child in second grade, presumably. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. a teacher is here. And a teacher's here, really? Where, where are you? Oh. Well, well done for educating Red's child so they grow up to be something more than a musician. Um, <laughs> I'm a comedian, I'm worse than that. I'm a comedian who wants to be a musician, that's me. What second grade school teacher? Well, we should find out from the school teacher. Um, what do you do for fun? And please don't say either of those two suggestions. You dance? Yeah, what type, what type of dance? This is the 1920s. We go to the ballroom and have a good time. We flows around. What type of dancing? It's something called what? Go noodle. Go noodle. No, I don't know what that is. What on earth is go noodle? It's, it's, a, it's like a brain break where you get up and you run a video and the kids dance with it. Oh, it's what you make the kids do for fun. Okay. That, because I was thinking, when you said we dance, I was like, that's already weird that a grown woman is like, what do I do for fun? I dance, Chris. Um, and then... Go noodle. It's a brain. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, Red, this is why we don't usually let you suggest things, because we end up with your child's teacher not understanding a simple conversation. <laughs> Fucking move schools, Red. Move schools. <laughs> I was going to ask public or private school. I don't need to. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, I guess, I guess, and that was from this side of the room. So we'll come to you guys for the last suggestion, but we'll come to the back of the room. Usually people fucking holler out, there's loads of them, but if you've got the one that you're like, this is the one, that's the one. No, 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 no. That's my job to make the connections. Although I would love to see your penis, sir, if that is. Solving a mystery, what's the mystery? Come on, just mention the latest true crime podcast you listen to. You sound very white. <laughs> the Chinese balloon. The oh, solving the mystery of the Chinese balloon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> Topical. That's what we like. Solving the mystery of the Chinese balloon. Cock. Jump roping. School teacher. Go noodling. <laughs> Final suggestion from you guys. So far, there's been some pretty great suggestions and some pretty terrible suggestions, but what, what's it going to be? Love Island. Bum bag. 
Okay, Love Island and bum bag. Great. Wearing a bum bag on Love Island. That's the combination. A, a bum bag is what you call a fanny pack. What did you think a bum bag was? Yeah. I should have left it up to your imagination. Uh, okay, cool. Bum bag equals fanny pack and Love Island. Well, um, I would love it if we could produce a beat. Let's, um, let's do one. Well, this is, yeah. This is what you asked for. If you don't like the rap, it's your fault entirely. We have second grade teachers doing some go noodling. Love Island bum bag. Solving the mystery of the Chinese balloon, cock and jump roping. Let's do this. He shouted out, identify the chumps, hoping we make it about himself, do the jump roping, rhyming out there on the asphalt or on the grass in case you fall, that's your fault. Get the balance on, one leg, two, hopping like a lemur, bopping up and down, yeah. I see you beaming, shining, got the tiny thin spindly rope, a little string spinning round, yeah, you really hope that some one walks by and says, whoa, this guy really cool with the jump rope. Come over, sign you, get the contract up, you get a gold medal doing all the double dutch. I could call you up say i got a job for you do the jump rope and entertaining animals who were like i can't even jump like a kangaroo tangle up with the rope like the pylons do i see the bird right up there and it's amazing it's flying i'll be sit there glazing i say how high is that that i am seeing it's past the fighter jets it be surpassing the ceiling Eighty thousand feet to 120k that's how high the chinese balloon fly every day where was it i take a shine to it's down there on the ocean in south carolina Joe Biden, how old can you get? We're like, Joe, can you launch the fighter jets to go up and do a sign wind a missile? He says, nah, I'll let it sit there for a little while. If we shoot it down, that debris could damage people on the ground. Then they blame me. Sleepy Joe, go get the Navy and Marines and the Air Force. Get it, take the debris off the seafloor. They use a boat with the massive crane. Take it there, 14 miles down. Who can blame? That's the genuine depth. I did a geological survey. Oceanographers are on their way. They say, we're going to retrieve this thing and then we'll call up Xi Jinping and say, Mr. President, what are you doing? All this satellite photography you're pursuing. He'd be blowing his top red in the face like the color there of the communist race. They say, no, you spoke too soon, Anthony Blinken. It's just a weather balloon. What are these photos of Area 51? Is like, nah, uh, you got a mistake on. We meant to put it in the sky and loudly take photos of the clouds. All the people surround me, they start moving. I say, is this useful? What the fuck you doing? Go Noodle, why is your voice so high? I'd be dismayed. We're taking a brain break here in second grade. Why can you do this? Please, sir, calm down. That's our teacher. She comes out to a comedy show and when she's asked a simple question by a British bloke, she goes, yeah, I take a chance. When I want a break, I just go and do a dance. I'm jiggling my pants. Yeah, it's not bad. What do I wear around here? A bum bag. Look at this. Who'd have thought of that? You want to walk along the shore? with the fanny pack the producers love island they get irate they say you got to get naked and gyrate take it all off just a bikini or some small trunks you need to get there on the shore i see these hunks who'd have thunk the ladies with the ample bosom start fucking find out that one of them's the cousin but they don't mind it makes great tv do you understand that the reality it's like daniel craig emerging out of the sea i feel an urgent an emergency any guy over there you know he got a lot thickness like a jump rope packing the cock and when i say a jump rope i don't mean so spindly i mean one really thick i want it in me i say oh yes i want to consume put it there now now really quite soon if i was a lady you could impregnate me like a womb put your big fat cock like a chinese balloon